What is up, Blue Box community? It's your boy, Sully the Great One, back at it again. And this time, I'm going to go over how you stream on a Nintendo Switch using an Elgato HD60S. Let's get into it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, and this is how you set it up. First, you're going to take your Nintendo Switch and place it into the dock. Next, instead of taking the HDMI cable that comes from the dock itself, Instead of plugging that into the back of a TV or monitor, you're going to plug that into the Elgato HD60S right here. This other HDMI cable that is coming out of the Elgato can go into any of the monitors or TVs that you typically would plug in the HDMI cord. However, it's not very necessary when you're live streaming, and I'll show you why later. Next, you'll have this USB-C cable that plugs from the HD60S into your computer or laptop. This will transfer all audio and visual to your computer through the instant gameplay software that it comes with the Elgato HD60. All right, guys, so this is Streamlabs OBS. Um, I'm just showing you this particular piece here. Right now we're on uh, my actual theme for my stream. Um, as you can see, starting soon, intermission, be right back, stream ending. And this is my live scene. The reason why my live stream doesn't really have a particular border around it is because I use a green screen that is currently down right now. There's another video that I'll put up here um, that you guys can go to that shows how you can set up themes, um, basic themes and display alerts. Um, if you guys wanted to check that out, that's already on the channel. So feel free to take a look at that. Uh, but this time right now, I just wanted to show you how I get the sound and audio for the Nintendo Switch coming through. This is the software. So Streamlabs OBS helps us control our stream. This software here um, is the gameplay software. So let me move this over here now. You guys can take a look. So now typically there'd be a green screen behind me, um, which if that's something you guys really want to know about, let me know in the comments below and I'll show you how to set that up if you have a green screen. But right now, this is going to have all our audio for um, the game. So here you can hear all the pieces, the sounds going. Um, we'll hook up Super Smash Brothers just so you guys can take a look at that. So while that loaded up, let's uh, just take a look. So right now, how I'm capturing the actual display or the actual screen, I have the HD software open so show full sidebar so this is the software that comes with let me turn it down here so this is the game capture software that comes with the Elgato HD 60s um, you can control the game audio here I typically leave about 70 when I'm talking to stream um, this brings in all the audio from the console itself um, the Nintendo Switch doesn't have a very good online interface, so you're not going to be able to chat with anybody. So anytime that I do play Smash or something against somebody, I have them hop into my Discord, link below if you guys want to join our Discord. Um, but we set up conversation and chat channels there, and we, we chat within the actual Discord app. So communicating with a party on the Switch is very poor. I don't even think they have anything set up. Um, I don't understand how Nintendo still hasn't come up with anything. Um, but nonetheless, all I really do is, besides the setup that we showed you at the beginning where we plug everything in, I use the instant display or the instant game capture here, display the video game itself. Um, and I, all I do from this software is control the audio. So for the purposes of the display video, I'm gonna leave the audio probably around like 30. Um, and then I just right click to hide the sidebar. I do nothing else with the Elgato HD software. I do everything else within Streamlabs. Let me come back over here. So right there, when setting up Streamlabs OBS, you wanna use display capture and display capture this monitor. That's why there's all these multiple screens. You wanna make sure that this is set up, display capture to set up display monitor. My typical, all I have is my alert box. And again, there's gonna be a video to show you how to set up alerts. Click on it now, up above. And the video display capture is my camera. It's all I use. Now it's set up to have a green screen behind me, so if I pull up my green screen, you're gonna see more of the game itself and just a cutout of me. The default setup here is 
So the desktop audio automatically comes through from the USB-C cable that is connected to your computer. And then the microphone is gonna be this microphone here. So this microphone is what I use to ta uh, talk to chat, talk to Discord, it's all set up on my computer, not through the system. No delay, I'm using the Pro Controller. I mean, I get no, no delay whatsoever. Obviously we know we're gonna have to go with Simon. Later. I would also recommend like, you know, taking your time. This is not, this is gonna be something that's gonna take a little bit for you to grow on. But these basic settings will help you get started, especially if you're a Switch player. Um, I know a lot of you have issues with it. Once you figure out how to stream on either one of the game consoles, hooking up every single game console after that is gonna be so much easier. Um, I literally just swap out HDMI cables and I hook up every single other system that I have. I, I I'm a console streamer, so I stream on PS4, Xbox One, and now my Nintendo Switch, which I'm super pumped to stream about. Oh my goodness, can I get Meta Knight? One hour later, two hours later, three hours later. Can you move it along? I'm all out of time cards. Oh. Oh, did he get me? Oh, he got me. Mennonite, you son of a bitch. All right, ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. A quick and easy way to set up your Nintendo Switch using the Elgato HD60S for streaming purposes. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. If you want to join our Discord, we're more than happy to help you out there. The link will be in the description, plus all my social media accounts. If you want to give me a follow, I'll be more than happy to talk to you any time of the day. Um, just let me know. Um, again, these are basic setups to get your stream going. Um, we covered a lot here um, in a very short amount of time. Um, I never have any problems with it. Again, if you do have problems, make sure you always check with Elgato um, system recommendations for the software, for the tools that we were mentioned in this video. I'll post the recommendations, the basic minimum requirements also in the description below. Thank you again for all the love and support. And if you can do us a huge favor and click on that subscribe button and give us a thumbs up, I'll greatly appreciate it. Until next time, Lootbox community, you guys have a good one. Peace.